Hi, I'm Robert, and uh, first of all, I want to thank you for tuning in to my video series about war Nikki's encephalopathy. Uh, if you're here, it's only because you've somehow, some way, been affected by what I consider a horrible uh, sickness. Uh, it, it's really a tragedy. Uh, it's a tragedy in the sense that there's not much information that I've been able to find to, to help anybody through this. It's a tragedy in the sense that you're here watching this video. Uh, the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is simply stop. Stop and get some support and maybe ask, ask someone that you care about and that cares about you to watch this video series with you. Um, I'm really serious. Uh, stop. This is not something that you need to try to even attempt to think that you can take on alone. Uh, hopefully, uh, whoever is affected by this sickness uh, has someone that loves them enough that can support them uh, because it's, it's going to be, if it hadn't already been, a difficult road. My wife was affected by this sickness and I had never heard of it. And from everything that I've learned about the sickness is that uh, it's affecting thousands of thousands of people each year and has a very high uh, death rate that is usually blamed on something else. It's usually the cause of a car accident. It's usually the cause of a work-related accident. It's usually the cause of someone uh, dying in their home of pneumonia or anything. But the main cause of the disease, from what I could gather, is, is from a liver malfunction. Something that happened to the patient's liver that stopped their liver from giving their brain the thymine that they need, the vitamin B1 that the brain needs. And if you've been diagnosed with Warnicke's encephalopathy, you now have brain damage with the, which the doctors believe is unreversible. And from everything that I've learned or seen, it is unreversible. So far, my wife has been affected for 11 months. Uh, the thing that's so difficult about the sickness is the patient's ability to deceive everyone around them that they are okay, they are fine, and that they can live their normal life. When the fact of the matter is, they're living a life of confusion and they don't know that they're confused themselves. Their uh, reflexes are dramatically hampered and their ability to take care of themselves is dramatically help, uh, hampered. I believe that each patient is probably affected to a certain degree and that degree has to do with their uh, point of medical help to begin their recovery. Um, my wife was struck with it over what I would say a period of four or five days and when she started getting her thymine through the IV it immediately stopped the sickness from getting worse. She had a little bit of a recovery. I believe the recovery process is four or five days and after that, uh, the patient is left with brain functions that they have to live with for the rest of their life. My wife's primary uh, portion of dysfunction was her short-term memory. It could be worse. Uh, because of her short-term memory damage, she also lost about six to seven months of memory prior to her sickness. Uh, it's extremely difficult for her to learn and it's extremely difficult for her to take care of herself. I was able to stabilize my wife in the sense of she was going through an emotional tailspin for about six months. The doctors didn't give me any hope. They didn't give me any suggestions. Uh, they didn't give me any care instructions. Uh, I was told to uh, basically not expect her to live very long. And 
the other patients and their caregivers and loved ones that have crossed their paths since my wife got sick, because I'm very vocal about this, um, I, I don't know any of them that have survived this uh, very long. Four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, you know, it's it, it could be very deadly, but it doesn't have to be. So go ahead and watch the video series. Uh, again, if you haven't done so, stop uh, and get a loved one to come in and try to help you. And uh, at that point, uh, go ahead and watch the videos and know that I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a professional speaker. I'm not even a teacher. I'm a normal everyday guy, a salesperson that has been helping my wife through this and we're we're living wonderful days. We have a lot of fun together and most of the people that we interact with do not know that she's sick. But I do and I care for her and I, I love her dearly. So this is something that can be beat and my main goal in putting together the video series was to warn others about it and hopefully give them some guidance of how they can uh, survive it. And, and man, you can live a, a wonderful, beautiful, uh, God-respected life. Uh, and w once you get the patient stabilized. And for me, it took six months and now we're living uh, a beautiful life. I just have to make sure I take care of my wife each and every day. So uh, feel free to contact me if you need to. I'm working on a book to try to uh, give people more of my story in depth, day-to-day -day details, some of the stories which will be uh, funny, very funny, some of the stories that will be heart-wrenching. But I, I want you to learn what you can. My purpose of putting this together is to help people. So uh, I hope it helps you and uh, go ahead and, and watch uh, part one.